Assalamu alaikum. I welcome all of you to the lecture uh, series on advanced mass spectrometry. Today we will be studying uh, mass analyzer, magnetic sector analyzer. As previously we studied the inlets, inlet uh, system, then after that we studied uh, ionization source for electron ionization. And now as we are still studying electron ionization or electron you can say impact uh, electron impact so today we will be studying the one of the analyzer and uh, we uh, the analyzer which we are going to discuss is uh, magnetic sector analyzer what magnetic sector analyzer is and I have written or drawn some rough sketch pre lecture so what does this sketch mean okay so we'll be explaining these things first of all i'm going to give you some preliminary or uh, very uh, simple simplistic uh, explanation there to what is happening or in the mass analyzer or in this magnetic sector analyzer okay so let me draw this is ionization source okay so, so the uh, as the ions are produced here they they move to the analyzer and from the analyzer they will they would move to the detector okay so i i have uh, discussed something that before going to the analyzer as you know that this uh, mass uh, ionization source it has something uh, inside it as you know that I have some accelerate propeller plate here a propeller plate is present when the electron when an I uh, electron impacts or uh, when electron ionizes a molecule or atom it become positive or uh, charged radical this is from the previous section so we took the example of methane gas so uh, here as you know that electron are bombarded in the ionization chamber I am just recalling it uh, for, for understanding very quickly so as it hit the methane molecule or some other molecule what will happen is it hit it here you have some um, this species is produced okay so it is a radical also and a positive charge also then after that I'm going to quickly review that thing here is the propeller plate what is a pro propeller plate for a positive ion anything uh, it should be positive thing this is a positive charge thing we have explained it in a detail so it pushes as the neutral atom is here so it doesn't uh, affect the neutral atom but as it is bombarded by the electrons suppose these are this is the electron coming from the uh, filament and it is a uh, receiving uh, plate or you see the thing which is receiving it or receiving electron so the electrons come here and as it hits or it interact with the molecule it ionizes it okay it produces a free uh, it produces a radical cation okay so this radical cation has a positive charge as methane suppose we took the example of methane or something else uh, so, or some other molecules okay so once a positive charge appears on the neutral molecule as it is in the vicinity or a vicinity of this positive potential plate it will push it okay so it will straight move to the analyzer okay so this is the ionization chamber it is the propeller plate okay it is propelling it and those plates are attracting it for sake of understanding I'm writing it negative though they are not uh, negative plates they are a less, very much less positive than this one okay suppose and these are again uh, less positive I am writing it uh, negative because it these 
little bit less positive than this thing so it can uh, attract a positive charge toward itself or when it pushes a charge so the charge can come here so you can also say that suppose these are negative so it will be attract the charge uh, if uh, for intuition or just for sake of understanding you can say that these are uh, negative uh, electrodes and as positive uh, as the propeller plate pushes the charge it will move in uh, it will be accelerated because this will be pushing and those things will be attracting at the end it will move out okay so as i have uh, explained in great detail this thing in the previous lecture uh, with some uh, values of the uh, voltages and uh, if anyone want to review that uh, it would be good go to the previous lecture okay now so this is the ionization chamber from the inside what happens uh, a positive cation will move here okay this is a positive thing it is moving inside uh, i'm writing it a little bit uh, larger because to make it visible to you people now it move here and suddenly what is this this thing is an arc it moves like this and then come to the detector <laughs> one thing is very easy or understandable let's let's say that uh, some positive thing is coming here you, you i don't know and you don't know still right now majority of you may be knowing no know, uh, may be knowing this for some of them uh, for some of the students it might be new suppose this thing is coming this positive species positive and a radical species coming 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 here and somehow it manages uh, to come out here and touch the detector so as you know the detector might be some metal okay sensitive metal as a positive thing or a positive uh, species which is electron deficient and it wants electron it's organic species it want electron and this thing detector might be some metal and as you know that metals are electron uh, they have they can give electron very easily they have some low ionization potential energy values so when the positive thing collides the detector it will take some electron uh, uh, from the metal surface in order to neutralize itself and in the process what will happen the negative thing uh, then this thing will become neutral and it will be lost okay but the detector will lose an electron and then and the detector lose electron so the other electron will rush and occupy that place so as you know that the motion of electron produces current so current will be produced and the current will be detected by uh, detected or uh, current will be amplified and detected okay so some signal will be produced right now it's just uh, what uh, the mass uh, magnetic sector does it moves it moves the positive cation or the positive radical cation uh, sorry the radical cation into this arc like thing and it brings it here so how this thing moves why why uh, this is a question a common question which will arise in our mind and why don't uh, this uh, thing is straight believe me there is a compulsion and you will appreciate that why this thing is uh, why the curvy thing is more beneficial uh, and why this, this analyzer is very important with a curve not a straight one okay suppose now what these are the balls one thing remember if any charge uh, collides with these walls these are walls okay and not concrete wall but some walls okay with these things the ion will be destroyed and you will detect nothing so one thing is to save the thing from those walls we need to come bring the positive charge here it should not collide with these walls if it collides what will happen it will neutralize or it will be destroyed okay nothing will come to the detector so what uh, they have done uh, uh, in order to analyze a molecule the, uh, they, they, they just 
placed a huge, I am writing it a little bit in exaggeration, magnet. This is the whole huge magnet. Okay, the magnet should be right from here to here because the arc is started from there. Let me draw a huge magnet. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, it's now good. And it's very uh, perfect. It's not sorry, it's not perfect, but it's okay. This is a big magnet. Okay, this thing, the blue lines or this thing is a magnet for God's sake what magnet is doing here and what is its function it has some big big and very nice function and you will really acknowledge it after a while so they have placed a magnet here in most of the books or something you might have seen that the analyzer is they have written the analyzer like this this thing and some this magnet okay this thing so I have just written this thing now we have to understand a little bit uh, that what a charge uh, how does a charge behave in a magnetic field okay so for that thing let me show you one uh, so you will understand the arc then this arc like thing or arc sort of thing suppose you have some this is a magnet type of thing this is a magnet okay okay i know it's a little bit difficult uh, to comprehend or to digest uh, for newcomers uh, freshman chemist but let's say suppose it's north or south let me write it north this is south now the magnetic lines are here these are the magnetic lines or the magnetic field is in this way from north to south or for uh, okay so it is here now what happens if this is here now if some positive part particle want to move upward a particle can move like this Suppose you have this magnetic field. I'm just writing this that how this arc, why, uh, how, why a positive charge is uh, compelled to move in an arc. Okay, this is the thing which I want to make you able to know. Okay, suppose this is moving like this. Suppose you have this green pen might be working or not. Another particle which is moving. Suppose this is also inside the field. This is again a positive species and it is moving this way. If because this is moving along with the magnetic field lines, okay, magnetic field, okay, this green because the magnetic field is in this way and this is moving in this way. So it will never be affected. It will move straight pass through it. So the magnet, uh, you will understand this after some time. Now, if the charged particle is moving upward, what will happen or perpendicular to the field the magnetic field lines of field or the magnetic field it will be deflected okay because as you know that magnet, magnet magnetic uh, there is magnetic field present and it can affect the charge it's another uh, topic that how why make why magnetic field uh, deflects the charge but right now how it deflects it we need to understand because we want to understand that magnetic sector analyzer okay now if you have a positive charged particle it's moving upward or perpendicular to the magnetic field so it would be it will be moved how now there are some uh, right hand rules for it first of all you need to have your fingers in this direction okay in th this is your right hand okay now the right hand is like uh, you have to uh, just bend your fingers you have and this is your thumb okay so, okay let me again tell you suppose this is the direction of the positive charge you just have to this is your hand if a charge is moving upward this is 
up. Now the magnetic field lines or the magnetic field, the magnetic field is in this direction. Here again as you see that the magnetic field is in this direction. This is the particle which is moving up. Okay, so my fingers are in the direction of the positive charge or the positive radical. Now the fingers are in the direction of what? These fingers are di in the direction of the magnetic field. The magnetic field is this way from here to here. These black arrow shows. And now the thumb will direct to the force which the positive charge will feel. So what I am talking about, what I am saying, this is your right hand, okay? This. Now, this is the magnetic line, this is the magnetic field, and this is my thumb, which is in the direction of the magnetic field. Uh, sorry, my, uh, the, my thumb will be in the direction of the force which the magnetic field, uh, which uh, the magnetic field will influence uh, upon the positive charge. So the positive charge, instead, it will not be moving straight, it will be moving inward okay so uh, this is all the phenomena i think that you still might uh, take uh, some examples to understand it suppose okay because you might be confused that sometime i one time i have written my uh, i have uh, told my that my hand is like this and my hand like that so it might be confusing for you so let me tell you in three dimensional thing okay this first of all this is a box i am i want to keep it here suppose this is the box i'm writing it box okay now the magnetic field is upward its direction is upward okay so i should write it in with some black point that the magnetic field is upward this is the magnetic field which is from n to s okay north to south or these are the lines and now the magnetic field is up how to arrange, how to predict that where the charge, how the charge will be moving because the charge uh, want to move but it will be affected by this thing. So, say, let's say this is the positive charge and it just move about over this thing here. Now this magnetic field has a direction upward and it will deflect the charged particle. How? Again, let me uh, show you how to understand. Now, it is uh, in another position. Your fingers, fingers, these all fingers, should be in the direction of the movement of the, uh, in the direction of the positive charge where it is moving. So, suppose, let me uh, show you a bit. Uh, wrongly then after that it will be correct for you now I have my hand like this my finger are pointing toward the direction of the positive charge okay now but the magnetic field is upward moving upward now my finger should be in the direction of the magnetic field but my finger can bend here so it is wrong now if I uh, have my right hand well, you be, uh, for uh, for uh, your information right hand, it is a right hand rule so use a right hand for it this is my right hand okay now this is the, mag the uh, this is the direction of the motion of the particle this is a magnet okay and it has a magnetic field upward this is my finger these are my fingers it is direct in the direction of the particle now it can move here if I bend it now, in this is the direction of the magnetic field. So I bend it in the direction of magnetic field. If you can have like this, okay. Now your thumb is pointing outward. What does this mean? The magnet, the particle want to move here, and the magnet want to throw it towards yourself. Okay. So what will happen? It will move here, 
and after some time it will come here okay the charge it will start it will be moving there here and it will come toward you it will form an arc toward you this is a 3d again sorry this is the box and suppose uh, here this cell this is a positive charge okay the the direction of the magnetic field is upward this is a magnet the box is a magnet now this positive charge want to move here okay but the magnetic field is upward so it will move uh, according to the right hand uh, it will move here it will move here okay as long as the magnet or the magnetic field is present it will move in a curve path why in a curve path uh, this is because it in each every point the magnetic fields sorry the direction of the particle is changed and the magnetic field will uh, affect it accordingly but for uh, right now you may need to understand that it will make it curve in uh, such a way that which will which can be predicted by a right hand rules so it should move now this particle which I have written it will move in some curvy path okay as long as the magnet is present okay this thing is also moving in a curve path so this means that here the magnet is like uh, this uh, this box it's a very rough analogy believe me and the part suppose this is the magnet the particle this particle as it come out of the ion source it want to move but as you know that the, suppose I, and the magnetic field is upward okay if the magnetic field is upward where will it push the particle because the particle just want to move straight and I have written a circle so what will happen as you know that this is the direction okay now my, my hand is in correct position this is the direction of the particle which want to move these fingers the thumb uh, should, uh, don't consider the thumb right now now the magnetic field is upward and if you open your thumb okay or straighten your thumb it is in your direction so this thing will move here so I have just tried to write this here because it is two-dimensional board and it's quite difficult to write a 3d thing on this board okay but for I think that you might have understood or you may have understood a little bit of this thing this arc okay so arc so what what uh, does this arc mean then okay if why the arc is good than a straight one here is another thing which uh, you need to have in your mind okay I am writing uh, an equation 